If your UV RoboVac 11 Plus's rolling brush is stuck and isn't spinning, don't worry. I'm here to help you fix your machine. Your machine will be three times for the 11 Plus and four times for other models. If you don't have a UV but have another type of robot vacuum, my video will also help you since all of these machines are built very similarly. You'll just have to make some minor adjustments on your end. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll try my best to answer them. There are two possible reasons the brush is not spinning. Your brush either has too much stuff stuck to it, or the motor that powers the brush needs cleaning. To see if it's a brush or a motor issue, first turn your UV on its back. Remove the cover, and remove the brush. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff stuck to my brush here. What you want to do is look at the white receiving end right here. Now, turn on the UV. As you can see, it spins. If the white thing in your machine spins, you're in luck. The error you're getting means that your brush needs cleaning. And that's it. So, what you want to do is just clear all this stuff out and what I found to be helpful is taking a pair of scissors and cutting through this crap. Also just use your fingers and remove stuff from the brush itself. Oops, popped the cap off but that's okay. As you can see there's a lot of stuff stuck in here. We're going to pop the end off anyway, so that was okay. To remove the end of the brush, just take your other hand and slowly pull. There's nothing stuck on this end as you can see. So to put it back on, just place. All you do is put it, pop it back on. Let's get all these hairs out of here. Now you want to put this end, which has this little piece extruded popping out. This end does not. So this end goes into this white receiver here. Put the cover back on. Turn your UV around, press play, you're good to go. If cleaning the brush doesn't fix the problem, or if this white part does not spin when you power on the machine, you're going to have to take apart your vacuum to access the motor that spins the brush. This may seem daunting and you may think you may break the machine or snap off a piece. You won't. Just follow my lead and feel free to pause the video as you follow along. Don't worry, your machine will run like new again by the time you finish watching this video. First, you're going to want to power off the machine. Then, you're going to take a Phillips screwdriver and unscrew the main screws Next, you need to unscrew the small screws that attach the bumper to the machine. There's a connector right here that attaches the main machine from the bumper. Just disconnect. Now you have the bumper removed. Next, you'll want to remove the wheel here. What you do is simply grab the edges of the wheel and pull up. 
that's it. There's some stuff stuck here, so just remove it. Separate the top and bottom pieces. Next, you want to disconnect this part. Just like that. Now, the front cover is removed. The motor in this model is right here. This little gray thing. So we need to access that. We need to remove this plastic piece. So find the screws and remove them. You're gonna to need to disconnect this yellow piece here. One of the screws of this connector is under the circuit board. So you're going to next remove the screws of the circuit board. You can see the screw right here. Lift the circuit board up slightly and remove the bottom screw. Now this piece is removed. This motor is connected to the circuit board by this black and red cable. So let's pop this out. Next, we'll want to remove this bottom piece right here. This is the motor. And as you can see, it's attached to the white thing that wasn't spinning earlier. We want to detach. Now they're detached. Now we want to detach and open this. This is what the inside looks like. Now mine looks fairly clean because I've cleaned it before, but if you have stuff stuck in here, feel free to remove it. We need to remove these two screws to get to the motor. What you can do is take a razor and just keep on turning it with the razor to clean the stuff out. This should spin freely, and mine does. If it doesn't spin freely, what you can do is put some machine oil into here. You want these two screws to line up with these two holes here and this hole up here to line up with this top one.
to attach the motor back to this piece. And then, then you want to align this, these two holes with these two holes. Then you have a last hole to fill with a screw. Now you want to attach this piece with the main machine. Pop it back in place and then find the holes to put the screws back into. Now what you want to do is take the black and red wire from the motor and connect it back here to the board. Next, you'll want to reattach this piece to the main machine. Now remember, the last screw is under the circuit board. Now we'll put the screws back in the holes of the circuit board. We want to reattach this yellow connector. We need to remember to connect this black piece to here. Screw the screws in that connect the bottom piece with the top piece. Pop this wheel back on. All you do is align the pin with the hole, put slight pressure, good to go. Now we have to attach the bumper to the front. You see this green connector piece needs to go into this hole. Now the screw hole should be at the bottom. First connect the green piece. First align the top. Now once you have the top, hold it in place and flip it on its back and align the screws to the bottom piece. Turn the vacuum over, the bumper should 
still freely move. If you turn the machine on, you'll see the white spindle spin. the cover back on, put the dustpan in, turn it around, we are good to go. If you found this video helpful, please smash the like button below and leave a comment. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer them. Thanks for watching.